My name is Paul Daniels, and they call me an unusualist. Not because I'm unusual, so get that gleam out your eye, fella. It's because I collect the unusual. I collect something that nobody else can be bothered with. It's only me, stupid enough. You see, I have noticed that in England, all the posh people, you know, the ones who talk like that, you know, them with grapes on the sideboard when there's nobody sick. Them. <laughs> what they do is they pick a pack of cards up and they're in a rut. They're in a rut. They pick them up and they shuffle them like that. It's called the English overhand shuffle. Frightfully nice. Frightfully. Did you know we're the only people in the world that shuffle cards like that? Russians don't. The Russians pick a pack of cards up and they do a thing called the Russian shuffle. Like that. It's called the Russian shuffle because the cards are Russian, one after the other. <laughs> <laughs> and you get them in Canada where they do the Niagara Falls shuffle, that's straightforward. And the South Africans go through like this and they separate the black ones, like that, you know. <laughs> sure that. <laughs> and you get them in India, very, very nice in India. In India and Bradford, they pick them up and they do this. They pick the cards up and they do that. It's called the Hindu shuffle. What's a Hindu? It lays eggs, love. And they shuffle cards like that. And you get them in China. And the Chinese do the same shuffle, but they do it sideways on. Anyway, in America, Americans are flash. In America, they pick the cards up and they do a thing called a riffle shuffle with a waterfall finish. It's nice, I think. They all do that. Riffle shuffle with a waterfall finish. Unless they live in Las Vegas. And in Las Vegas, they split the pack into two heaps with one hand, pivot some off to the right, get hold of the back edge, and they do that. It's a riffle shuffle, but they're only allowed to use one hand, because they've got that many one arm bandits. You know what it is? It's sort of a local shuffle. <laughs> Thank you very much. And then you, go, you started that, didn't you? You must be the fellow that got my blood transfusion. Anyway, then you get them in Leicester. In Leicester, they always throw three cards away first like that. <laughs> then they've got Leicester Shuffle. <laughs> Leicester Shuffle. Hmm, <laughs> it gets worse. And you get them in Texas. In Texas, everything's bigger than in real life. Well, nearly everything. You see, they don't hold a hand of card. Not nearly as big as ours. You see, that's our size. But what they do in Texas is they split the pack into two heaps, put the ends together, do a thing called a butt weave shuffle. And once they've got the ends weaved together, they then hold a Texas hand of cards, which is bigger than anybody else's. And they look at it. If it's any good, they keep it. This one is rubbish. Rubbish. <laughs> no, actually, you've got to shuffle it properly. Now, you can't see this on the side, but out the front there, I've got a box. And there is... It's got my initials on, PD. It's for my name now, Paul Daniels. I put my initials on everything, you know. Val Dunican Den, but I dare. Anyway, you do that. And the reason they call that... You with a mucky laugh, out. And you do that. The reason they call that the Texas Shuffle is because when they're all in the box, it takes us so long to sort them out afterwards. <laughs> oh, you are nice. In your pocket, have you got a pound or a fiver or a tenner or a twenty? Faces went white. Were you the one with the Scots hat on? <laughs> This'll break your heart. Anyway, have you got... You, what have you got? What's your name? What's your name? Alan. Alan. Right, Alan. If I'm not bothered. I'll have a fiver if you've got one to spare. Look, here. Tell you what we'll do, Alan. This is yours. Five pound note. And I'm backing away from you. Hey. Wait. Where are you from, Alan? Stockport. Stockport? Hey, hey. That was good, huh? Was, hey, you know. I wouldn't shout out if I was wearing what you are. Anyway, now what you do is it... You take a five-pound note, and I want you... Ooh, your face went white then. You take a five-pound note. The moment you do that with a fiver, they always imagine that you've torn five pounds up like that. But you don't. <laughs> but I have. Um, don't worry. You do get compensation on this show. If you don't get your five-pound back, you can keep as compensation this tube of mints. All right? We'd like you to keep those. There we are. Hang on to the corner yourself as well, lad. All right? Check the last three numbers before we go any further. Four, what is it? Four, seven, one. Okay? Yeah. Right? Now, I'll fold this up small and tight and neat. And I'll give it to you. Hey. What's your name? Pat. Pat. Don't ever wear a sweater with your name on the front. <laughs> now, this is what we'll do. I want you to do me a favor. <laughs> There's the fiver. <laughs> I'll wrap it in this handkerchief. They also make these in white. And you keep tight all of that <laughs> through the cloth. Can you keep all of that pack? There you are, my love. Can you feel it? Yes. You can. Don't get excited. That's my finger. <laughs> keep tight all of that. So the knuckles are white. Psst. St stood here. I'm going to make you into a fairy. <laughs> oh, hell, somebody's beat me to it. Don't worry. Don't worry. To be a fairy is very simple. You need one of these. I've got one somewhere. You need a fairy one. That's funny. That's funny, it's never made that noise before. Huh? <laughs> no, that was Bernard passing a comment. Now, what you do is this. You take this fairy wand and you give her two taps on the back. Up high. That's it. Can you hold the corner up high? Great. Put it right inside your fist. 
Keep it closed tight. Fine, right. Now you give her two taps on the back of the hand. One hot, one cold. <laughs> one hot, one cold, you see? Yorkshire joke, Lancashire yes. lad. Right, now, the moment you do that, the moment you give her the second tap, the fiber will vanish, will reappear over there. Take that and just give her two taps with the... Oh, dear. You just sit down and keep taking the pills, lad, you know. I will say the magic words. The magic words are Raquel Welsh. You give two taps, one hot, one cold, and your five pound note vanishes completely. Would you now stood up? Turn around. You like this. Not a lot, but you like it. Just face that way. Face that way. They can take it and unfold your fist. You will have a complete five pound note. The last three numbers of which will be whatever, what were they? 471. And the corner will fit exactly. The number will be the same, and if you could put the big piece. If you could put the big piece with the little piece, because we're all waiting to clap. No, if you just. Is that it? <laughs> you were the last one seen hold of the five pound note. <laughs> you owe him five pound. If you could, you couldn't. No, listen, um, look at me. I'll get you off the hook. Look at me. <laughs> I will do a trick that is so amazing. You will say to me, Paul, that was worth five pounds. <laughs> you will say to me, that was worth five pounds. Now, where's my fiver? You, si you sit down there, lad. You have paid five pounds for the best seat in the house. You can put that away, I've finished that one. Now, this is what we'll do. Do you know what that is? An envelope. An envelope is absolutely correct. They're nice and loud, because friend, we want to hear you. You know that, really, mean, really right. I should put that envelope there. Look at that. Table for 12, that at Bernard's Embassy Club. Did you know that? Now, this is what we'll do. You've been, have you? Right. <laughs> do you know what that is? A tankard. Aye, lad. A tankard. Aye. Tis an aluminium cup. And originally, to do this wondrous feat, they used to use three aluminium cups in a row and three of these little white balls. I only use one cup and one ball because a lot of people used to say the trick was all cups. Now, what you do... <laughs> it's true. I wouldn't kid you. Now it's true. Now, what you do is this. You take a little ball. You've got to guess whether it's under the cup, whether it's in my hand or whether it's in my pocket. OK? Nice and loud, nice and quick, Andy. Where's the ball? On the top. Wrong, it's on the bottom. The cup is upside down. Next question. <laughs> Me one, you none. We shall start again. Perhaps my speed is baffling you. <laughs> so I'll put my hands away. Nice and honest, nice and loud. Your second chance, bonnie lad. Where's the ball? On the top. Oh, it's on the top of the bottom. You like this. Not a lot, but you like it. You've got to guess whether it's on the top, the bottom, or whether it's in my hand. If it's in my hand, it can't be under the cup at the same time as it's in my hand, because then if it was in my hands and under the cup and I put it into my pocket, you would know it wasn't under the cup at the same time as it was in my pocket, because then it wasn't under the cup. Take it out from under the cup, drop it into the cup, and put it down there. You've got to get it from there to under there. Are you following that? No. All right? Here is an action replay. <laughs> you take the film. Where's the ball? <laughs> In the cup is absolutely correct. You take it out, put it into your pocket. Where is it now for a fiver? <laughs> that was very good, that. Your lips never moved and your dummy answered. It was great. <laughs> Fantastic. No, no. Where's the ball? Under the cup. Wrong. It's in my pocket. You should have said it was in my pocket. I'd have said, wrong. It's under the cup. Now, this is very simple. This, I'll tell you what, look, I'll teach you this. I'll teach you this. What do you do for a living normally? An ambulance driver. Yeah. Give that up. Give that up. It's a sick job. Give it up. <laughs> Get yourself a cup. <laughs> Drop the ball in the cup, take it out, put it into your pocket and flick it. It'll hurt, but flick it. Because <laughs> that's just the first flick. The second flick, you'll get to like it. Anyway, as you flick the ball, you flick the ball up like that. As you flick your ball up, you put the cup down. The ball goes up your sleeve, across your shoulders, down that side and back under the cup. Nobody will believe it. Be very careful. You must be careful that you don't put the ball into the wrong pocket or you will have a confused ball. <laughs> and when you flick, 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 you'll get a lemon. That baffles them completely. Knocks them out, that. <laughs> it's the orange that gets me. I don't know where that comes from. There you go. One lemon. One lemon. <laughs> I gotta go. Before I go, I can't leave you unhappy. No, I can't, because you're between me and the door. Look, I tell you what, stood up. You like this. You love it. Not a lot, but you like it. Shout out loudly the last three numbers on the corner. 
471. Still the same. 471. Just put that on the edge of that lady's table, okay? <laughs> oh, I like that. That was great, that. Here, have a lump of sugar. Now, just, just do me a favor. Take, take a polos. Take a polos. There you go. Turn around, face that way, and snap them in two. And, and they, if you just look inside, there's a hole. In the hole is a piece of paper. If you unfold a piece of paper, you find it's not just a piece of paper. You find it's a Bank of England £5 note. And not only does that corner fit, but it fits exactly. And the number is the same from side to side. Right? And Get that's it. magic. Good night. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Very kind.